Hello, friends and fellow detectives. Okay, last time, uh, we we rescued Mum from jail, and then we broke the flashlight. So, Dad sent messages. Where's Widow's Drop? Did she send them all? Ipsa scientia potentis s. We're just looking at all of the notes on the writer's desk. Make Rufus a dull dog. All sleep and no work. Makes Rufus a dull dog. Do it for Jenny. Friend or foe. CJ, Mum, guilty. Giant metal door. Dad, Zazer. You were right. Everyone thought he was crazy. Emergency only. You had a map? Mining accidents. Zazer's machine. Keith, can he forgive her? Le Les Strasberry. Glatz Corp. Good or bad? Who are the Council of Three? Henry LeClue. What was he working on? Not yet. Lights out. <laughs> Activate things. Letter to fin F Finkel fans. Draft. Well, it's me, Arthur K. Finkelstein, and here we are at thir book 38 of Jenny LeClue series, our most joyful adventure yet. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, I think we... We already looked at all this stuff, and we got, what is this letter? Oh. Is this the one we already saw? Arthur, what a wonderful surprise. Eileen just finished reading, reading the most recent chapter. Much better, old boy, much better. Yeah. All right, I think we, we kind of had seen this already. Uh, okay. With a clatter, the flashlight fell, smashing against the stone floor, and Jenny was alone once more. What is Arthur going to do about this? It's a tough one. Kill someone else? I can't do it. Can I? Who would it be? I can't bear it. It's too much. First her father and now her mother? How will the poor girl ever recover? All of this could have been avoided if I had just stuck to my original formula. There must be another way to fix this. Huh? Says the dog. Poor Rufus. You're right, Rufus. I need some rest. These long writing sessions are starting to take their toll. What will he do? Mom, you broke my... But Jenny's mother was gone. More confused than ever, Jenny had no choice but to make her way through the sewer completely alone. Well, apart from the man coming to kill her, of course. Not helpful. Jenny! CJ, is this gonna come out down? You've got to get out of here. The shadow men are dangerous and my boxing skills aren't what they used to be. You're right all along, CJ, about everything. You saw them? The little green men? Okay, maybe not everything. It's never aliens. Until it is. But all the strange phenomena around town, I've seen too. Good. It's all connected. And my mom knows more than she's letting on. Yes. Yes, trust no one. What did she tell you before I arrived? She asked you to do something for her. What was it? I'll never tell. She swore me to secrecy. Persuade. But CJ, she could be working for them. What she told you, it could be the way, this only way to stop them. My goodness, you're right. Let's see. It was very important. Life or death. With Find Widow's Drop. That was first. Look for flowers. Use the key. Oh, where are the gloves? Very important. It's a lot to fit in before sunrise. And where is Widow's Drop? Good question. I don't remember. Did she at least give you a sense of which direction she was going? Uh, well, if I'm north and you're south, then she must have been going. It was no good. CJ's memory was jumbled at the best of times. Right now, Jenny needed to evade the man in black and get back to the room where her father was trapped. Stay safe, CJ. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, ah, uh, yes. Goodbye, Jenny. Keep your eyes open. The truth is closer than you think. Wow. No, now. Mum went that way. Uh, it seems like we got a bit of a cave-in. But Jenny wouldn't be following her. Dang it. Okay. Let's go and take a look at that. This doesn't look good. So we've got a bunch of busted down pipes blocking our path now. Okay, so now the question is, is do we start changing the flow of things here? Oh, I can't yet. You would think I would try to do that. Is there anything I can do up here? Maybe we can blow the stuff out of the way using water pressure? Is this going to be another water pressure puzzle? I don't know at what point we come to the conclusion of what we can do and can't do. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go down to this thing, shaking and rattling, looking like it's about to explode. No? Okay, let's let's go up, up this thing then. 
before we head out. I guess these, the other valves are like a, just a bit of a ruse. Okay, nothing. All right. Fine. Back we go. But we don't like it. All right, up the pipe. Tiptoeing carefully. It's a very beautiful scene. And jump over. You can do it. Yeah, we'll leave that. The transmitter, I don't think, is doing anything important. Okay. So, now we're, we're tiptoeing again through the disgusting, fetid water. <laughs> and now we've got to, I don't know what we're going to choose to do at this point. I don't know why we keep kind of tiptoeing. Yeah, the rat's cool. The rat's cool. Okay, I'm back through the jail cell. Oh, stuff is happening. Okay, great. A pipe came over and connected it for us. That's good. What the hell's going on? Jenny, please hurry. He's coming. I'm going as fast as I can. Also, hi, Ms. LeClue. My mom isn't here. Oh no, what happened? Dot, dot, dot. Jenny. Jenny, are you okay? Abandoned by her mother, hunted by a killer, covered in filthy water, Jenny LeClue was most certainly not okay. Just let me focus on not getting brutally murdered. Dr. Benderson says it's always better to get these things up out, out in the open. Shh, you're breaking up. Shh, I can't shh, hear you. Okay, let's get out of here as fast as we can. Yeah, this is the part where I, well, I think I'd be running and not tiptoeing. You're not building tension. You're keeping me from doing things. Let's get out of here. Okay, so now we've we've lost that route, but we can get up out this way. Let's get over this other thing and back into the abandoned mines. And away we go. Okay, let's enter the dark tunnel. A path ahead was shrouded in darkness. Gulp, sure wish I had my flashlight. But Jenny, was Jenny ready for the next chapter of her adventure? Let's go. And then... Oh yeah, things the thing blows up. This thing's ready to go. We're basically, we've destroyed the town. <laughs> and that's the end of the game. Thank you for coming along. The, uh... Oh no, town's not destroyed, okay. An unfamiliar feeling began to ferment in the back of Jenny's mind. Doubt. Why did her mother act so suspiciously? Where did she go in such a hurry? Jenny had expected answers, but now, each step forward felt as if the ground were crumbling beneath her feet. Okay. Let's get out of here. Now, it's interesting. I feel like the, uh, the length of things between typewriter sessions, they tried to time it out for, uh, for play sessions, but it, it's pretty hard. It's because it's going to take you such a variable amount of time for so many of these things. Screech, Jenny, are you okay? Oh, everything's super down here, but just wandering around in total darkness, trying not to get killed. Oh, well, if you need some light, there's one in your walkie talkie. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? You said not to disturb you. That girl will be the death of me. Jenny fumbled in the darkness until she found the switch on her walkie talkie. Okay. Good times. Jenny stood perilously close to the edge of a deep pit. If Susie hadn't interrupted her when she did, she would have been a big pancake. Okay, I'm going to have to jump to that minecart, but even if Jenny made the jump, she couldn't be sure that it would support her weight. If I was going to fall, it would have done by now. Okay, jump to certain death. See, steady as a rock. Yeah, it's all good. We made it. That and that's enough near-death experiences for one day. All right, so let's get continue on. Read the sign. It says Tunnel Thirteen. Unlucky for some. Okay, and we're gonna go into a cave on our hands and knees. 
What is on the other side? We see a skeletal hand. That's not a good sign. Some broken stones. Things we need to climb over. And up ahead we see uh, definitely some more. Uh, the ghost image of miners falling down. A cave-in. Jenny shivered as she realized the true scale of the tragedy that had befallen the miners. I'm standing in the world's biggest tomb. And if none of the miners got out, how am I supposed to? Fortunately, Jenny had Susie Glatz. Get help. Susie, Susie, come in. Thank goodness. I was worried you dropped your walkie-talkie. The line just went dead. Yeah, uh, well, anyway. I need... Her mouth went dry. I need your... How could one word be so difficult to say? I need your... Help. Jenny felt a wave of nausea as the words left her mouth. Susie, are you there? Sniffle, sniffle. It would be an honor to assist you in any way I can, Jenny LeClue. I'm in Tunnel 13. I've reached a dead end. I need you to find me another way out. Of course. Just give me a moment. I found it. You're close to the extraction chamber, where they transferred crystals to the surface for processing. There's bound to be an exit there. But it's a long way up. You're going to have to climb. Aha. There we are. No problem. Oh, and Susie, thanks. All right. Let's walk our way out of here. Down another dark tunnel. Over the minecart. You know what? Let's grab... Oh, it, uh, could I... Grab? I'm going to pull this out of the way. Because I have a feeling there's something on the other side of this. No. <laughs> okay, am I able to use it for any other purpose? See, there's this over here as well. Anyway, we'll see if, what this leads to. Go up. Oh, I see. We can't. We can. We can't go up that way. So we have to go this way. Oh, this track switch. Pull the lever. It, I can't move it. It's stuck. Fine. All right. That leaves us our option to get up here. Let's see if this does it. It seems to. Okay, and we'll need that. We'll drag this over. Get over here, barrel. We've got ourselves a ladder. But let's get over to this side first a little bit, and we'll see what, uh, yeah, if we have a sticker or something hiding here. Feel like we might, or scrap of paper. Oh, good, another scrap of paper. That seems to be all of them. All right, let's get on top of the barrel and get on out of here. All right. Up the rickety ladder we go. Oh, we got a lantern. It looks like it might still work. Yeah, it's all right. It's in the hands of a dead miner. Oh, Jenny. A little dramatic. We could have used that. I was better off in the dark. Okay, we got another lever. That was satisfying, but what did it do? Inspect the rope. It's a pulley of some kind. Okay. That's curious. That didn't seem to do anything. Unless it was... 
Is it the one below? There was a lever below. I find it weird that it would be anything down below, though. I don't know. I'm not sold on this. Let's see here. No, we can't do anything there. Can't do anything there. I guess it has to be. That is curious. Okay, there's nothing I can push or pull. Okay. Alright, down we go. Now, is there... Do we want to do something with this pulley? Now, can we... Can we grab it? No. We can't grab the pulley. I was thinking maybe there was a thing with the pulley. Now, did that do anything... That takes us this way. Is this like a third time's the charm? It is. Okay. That released... Oh, there we go. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, let's get back up there. I'd be running at this point. Up we go. Come on. Push this over. And there we go. Up into the ladder. Up into the trolley. And let's we wind our way up. Okay. Alright, all the way to the top. Let's go. Put some muscle into it, Jenny LeClue. We want to get there by the end of today. And the miner is there to help us. Or stop us, but probably help us. Alright, that's it. The miners also seeming to try to escape. I think we've released the ghost. We've allowed them to get freedom as well. Enter the tunnel. So now where does this lead to? Okay. We got a blockade, which is good because we haven't punched this one in yet. And one more to go. But through we go. Oh no, this looks like a giant mess. Shafts of moonlight shone through the cracks in the ceiling. The extraction chamber. It looks a little rickety. Uh oh. That was too close. I better get moving. Okay. There is a ghost sitting there. And then, uh-oh, sounds like the man in black is descending down the stairs. Uh-oh. The man in black, I need to find somewhere to hide fast. All right, no way out, too risky, can't reach, too exposed, perfect. Okay, so let's get up there. High up in the air, out of sight, covered on all sides. The minecart was an ideal hiding place. Okay, let's get up there, Jenny. It's only mildly rickety. No slivers. I'm sure we've had our tetanus booster. We're all good. Okay, now we're going to have to make the leap of faith. You got this. You got this. 
No big deal. Jenny peered over the edge of the mine card. She was confident the man in black wouldn't spot her, but she'd need to remain perfectly still. Even the slightest sound could give her away. Here he comes. The flashlight leading the way. Is Jenny safe? Almost in the clear. Just a few more seconds of absolute silence. Jenny? Oh, oh. Turn your radio off. I feel like the flashlight's gonna go straight up. Did it pass? I can't do anything, so I'm assuming we're still waiting. <laughs> unless, unless we crashed. It seems like a really long time to wait for the man in black to go by. This is like more than just a dramatic beat. Two minutes since our last save. This is perilous. This is uh, this is a difficult situation that Jenny has found herself in. I feel like this might be a good place for us to take a break anyway. And next time we come back, we will find out if we can get past the man in black here. I might have to replay a little section of this just to not have this happen, whatever it is. Because I'm assuming we, uh, we're, we're definitely past our dramatic uh, tension. Maybe I just hit something a little too quickly as we got the message coming in. That radio message seemed to be a trigger. All right, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.